Hello everyone, so we are setting up Bitrix virtual apps and desktop environment. For that we need um, virtualization tools. Uh, you can either use VMware Workstation Player. I'm not using VMware Workstation Player here, but, but I'm using ESXi uh, virtualization software. And I have two ESXi's running in my environment, but if you want, you can have only one ESXi running or you can have uh, just one VMware workstation player running on your Windows environment but this ESXi1 and ESXi2 is running on the physical machine itself it's not, not under any uh, Windows environment it's bare metal so but if you wanna run only one ESXi you can have only one ESXi also I, I didn't have enough resources on one machine so I have two uh, ESXi servers so on first one I will be installing SRV domain controller this is this is a domain controller uh, where we will create um, users and groups and the second one is uh, storefront the third one this one is on the second ESX server which is sphere and the fourth one we need the delivery controller we will discuss all these uh, later in the lab so in order to download the ESXi, you need to go to their website and then uh, create an account and then download the ESXi from there and then use a bootable tool like Rufus to make a USB uh, bootable and then uh, install it on the, on the uh, physical machine itself. Um, once it's installed, you will have the IP address and you just open the uh, put the IP address in the browser and then uh, sign in with your, with your credentials and in the virtual machine section you can have multiple virtual machines set up as in this is my ESXi one as you can see on the top this this ESXi what I will be running is uh, domain controller uh, delivery controller and storefront uh, in the image as you can see um, delivery controller and I am I have the delivery controller on shown on the ESXi2 but actually I'm I will be putting it on ESXi1 because I have more resources on ESXi1 it does not matter where, where you want to put it so everything is ready to go I am not going to show you how to create virtual machines because I assume you must be familiar with that and if you are using um, VMware Workstation Pro or uh, a player, you can uh, use it to create multiple virtual machines. But make sure you have enough uh, um, hardware configuration to run multiple machines. If I go to host, you can see I have uh, um, 32 RAM on the ESXi1 and 6 core processor and 500 GB SSD and then you need to set up another ESXi2 you don't need to actually but I have set up second ESXi2 as well and you can see it has 24 GB RAM and 500 GB hard disk on the ESXi2 I will be running vCenter vSphere so vSphere also you can download from um, VMware's website once it's downloaded you can uh, mount the ISO and then install it from there. I will have another video um, um, that a, a video made for uh, vCenter setup as well, which I will put in the description. Once vCenter is installed, you can just uh, open by the with the IP address or the host name. Once it's there, you can right click on your vSphere host name and then add a new data center which will be named as anything you like i named it citrix and and then right click here on the citrix and then add host add host so what host we are adding it will be adding esxi2 and we will be managing esxi2 from vsphere the thing is citrix needs vsphere that's why we have to do it otherwise we could we could have used only the esxi environment but they need the vs vsphere uh, to create uh, virtual delivery apps. So, as you can see, all these three are set up. 
I will show you the virtual machine. Um, this is the domain controller which I have already running here. So in the domain controller what you need to do is you go to users and groups. Um, make sure you have active directory um, roles installed and the here you can create a new group admins or anything you like and then put one user in there we will be using this user to access virtual apps and desktops and in the computers you can have you can see i have joined all the pcs here and these are the domain control this is the domain controller itself and you also need a dns running so make sure you have also added the D dns role as well because we need to add entries to the forward lookup zone okay so yeah so this is the overview of the lab and uh, how our environment will look like is this we will have one delivery controller running and the delivery controller will have all these um all these uh, uh, things running in it then we will have one storefront which will be used um which will be used for the users to access the virtual machines and desktops we have then the v running here uh, it can be either server vt or desktop vt i will show you that later on and then we have set workspace app running on uh, client's computer uh, to access this okay so now um, i will go to the delivery controller you have to create another machine once you are set up with the domain controller uh, i want you to set up another server machine and name it anything you like i named it srv delivery controller 01 and uh, we will be installing the delivery controller on this so yes this is this is just the overview of the lab what you need and once this is set up you can continue to uh, next video